What's up guys, Raddy here back with another video. And today we are messing around with the Lexus. The Lexus is finally away from that parking spot and we got it here and it's officially plated, insured, pretty much ready to drive. But the tail light lens housing popped off. So now I'm in the midst of repairing it. As of right now, I've already got off all of the old silicone that's around the uh, housing. So I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit more. I'm using the JB Weld uh, clear silicone RTV. So we'll see how this process go. It says that it takes an hour to uh, let the sealant dry and create that strong bond. Let's get into it. Hopefully it can have the taillights back on the vehicle and we can take this car out for a little drive. If you're wondering, the 350 is finally off the insurance. It's back in storage. Just because I had to register the Lexus uh, for this year, because in Ontario, they're doing like a new safety system. And I wanted to get the car, the Lexus registered before, you know, it was hard to get my car safety. It's all said and done now, which is good. And I'll probably drive it just till like the end of October. Cause that way I understand like, what I need to get replaced or what kind of work that needs to get done on the Lexus during the winter time, like suspension wise. Definitely want to do like the, the arms and stuff like that to make sure they're solid for next year when I bring it out. Worst thing is you don't want to be like having a ball joint break on you in the middle of the road, right? So I think in October, the GS is going to get stored at one of my good buddies place and we're going to put on the new body kit that's coming for the GS. So definitely stay tuned to the channel because you're going to want to see all the progress on the GS within the next coming months. See how the lens housing sits in here. This is just a temporary fix. It's not like an official thing. It just happens to be so that the lens housing pop before I can register the car and take it for a drive. So I'm just gonna just reseal it quickly. I'm getting new tail lights for the Lexus. So you, you guys are gonna see that on the channel. So definitely subscribe and stay tuned if you wanna see the build. Seems like it's holding up nice here. Yeah. yeah. This is where we're just gonna go crazy <laughs> and just start sealing it. Still some stuck here, so I gotta make sure that I clean this all up here before I remount this and install it. Progress is coming along pretty good. Got like 70% of it off. It's just this little batch here in this front end. This would be like the first time I get to drive the Lexus on the road this year. Well, since purchasing the car, so I'm pretty excited. I'm actually really excited. <laughs> I can't wait to just like head to uh, my brother's detailing shop quick detail you know clean this car up it's been sitting in that same parking spot for two years i believe it feels like it feels like two years <laughs> just collecting rain water and just getting beat on by the snow because i live in canada to be able to like drive this car again now and give it a nice clean it's gonna feel so good to see the, the actual true color from the paint and then also i'm gonna do a cut and polish on the paint sometime in the next coming weeks bring this see how much paint we can bring back to life because there are some areas that have to be repaired like the uh, sunroof just by the window it has a little bit of a rust forming up so that's gonna have to be repaired the fender has rust on it but i have a new fender um, already so we're just gonna replace that and then repaint that fender i think it's the left rear quarter not quarter but like just just underneath the tail light it's kind of like banged up so i'm gonna have to get that fixed that way the bumper it lines up with the tail light that way it has a, a cleaner look and from the rear end because right now it looks damaged lots of stuff to do on the lexus i'm excited for the journey because i went through the whole journey with the, the 350z behind me i'm excited to go on to project number two even though project number one is never finished but it's gonna be really satisfying to get this looking super right and super clean and to my standards of how i want my build to look so and i'm excited to share that journey with you guys now i'm gonna fill the hole with the rtv and then put the uh, lens housing in and i'm gonna have to use like a couple clamps to like hold the pressure down and i'm probably gonna try to speed the process with some like uh with the heat gun so i can just like get it to dry quicker it's a beautiful day it's a beautiful night it's gonna be a beautiful night it's only right to go take a cruise in the lexus
Shit, yo. I'm feeling like Nakai San right now, putting the silicone on the wide body. <laughs> Been like a couple hours that I've had it clamped but I don't know if I mentioned it earlier in the video but the connector on the back pretty much like broke off so right now we're going to just put a soldering drip on the connector so it makes a new connection that should get all the LEDs working again have the tail light functioning back to normal so we'll see how that goes and uh, hope for the best you know good thing I bought these terminal connectors they might come in handy oh right there look at that one that top corner oh, yeah, yeah. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Please go. We could probably open that up a bit. Perfect. Hey, let's go. Heat shrink it, crimp it, that's it. We bless. Oh, let's go. Hey. Pop that in, there you go. That should be good. That looks like it's gonna be repaired. Now it's time to test it out. Whoa, water still got in. She. hopefully it didn't, uh... no, it looks okay. Okay, so we're gonna connect this first just to make sure everything is good. It's so hard because my hand's all like silicone-y. This down, take these connectors. see what that light does yes sir the LEDs are all illuminating because before there used to be a couple LEDs that were burnt out and then I guess that's because of the bad connection but looks like it's good now I'm gonna put the other bulbs in and then just bolt it up and go from there It looks fire. Ooh, all the lights are working. Back to normal now. Thanks to Rav fixing that connector. And we're finally done for the day, man. Oh, that took a while, but I didn't capture it on the camera, but I put the, uh, I retaped the window visors. So now the window visors are actually sitting more clean. So now the car is looking a lot better. I gotta test the uh, turn signals and stuff. Are they working? Break? Is it on? Check the trunk. That side's kind of blinking. This, this side's not doing anything. This side? That side's kind of blinking. This side's not doing anything. Oh. This side's working. This side's not. This side ain't working. This side we replaced? Oh, that's mad low, eh? I just scraped doing that. Had to eat it. <sighs> she looking sharp. All right, so we just finished washing the Lexus, but I got no chamois, so it's gonna have to air dry for now. Lexus looks crazy. Little things I gotta check out uh, in the next few days is, I noticed a check engine light, so it might be from the exhaust, because the exhaust is, sounds like it is leaking. Yeah, this car is low. The mid pipe is it's really low. Like, that was a barely a, a, a slope, and 
was already scraping. So I'm trying to do a speed bump. Oh man, it's gonna go crazy. But I think tomorrow I'm gonna go get another set of tail lights, um, just so that way like it is functioning. That gives me no reason to get pulled over for no reason or you know get pulled over for a brake light out. I wanna avoid any reason to get pulled over in this car. So I'll go out and get a new set of tail lights, take the hit now and enjoy the car for the rest of the time of the season. It's been a great time. Glad I made it pretty productive today with the tail lights, the window visors. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, but you guys know what to do. If you wanna keep seeing content like this or uh, updates on the GS, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, thanks for watching. Peace.